karma. I'm going to lunge you. You ready to be ridden? She says no. I don't want to. But I gotta lunge you first, cause you're crazy. You're a cray cray girl. Come on. She's gonna try to eat. Cause that's a bad little pony. Well actually you're not a pony, you're actually way, way taller than a pony. But whatever, we can call you a cute little pony, cause that's what that cause that's what cute little sweet innocent horses act like. It's like ponies. And you're a pony, cause you wanna be sweet today. Yeah. So I'm gonna lunge her and I'm gonna film her lunging like up close instead of putting it on myself and her because I'm tired of filming myself and I just wanna film my horse today. So let's see what this little fool brings today. She's probably gonna throw a little head tosses and buck a little bit because she's probably gonna get excited. Isn't that right, little girl? So I'm gonna put on her lead line and then we're gonna lunge. Isn't that right, little girl? Probably wasting film doing this, but whatever. Whatever. It's all good, yo. See, this is your schedule and you gotta stay on it. You gotta stay on her schedule. She doesn't like being on. She has to be on a schedule because she's an organized animal, which is kind of creepy. <coughs> but she is. <coughs> Got hair in my throat because I've been trimming my horse so got hair all over my throat and that's just disgusting. Sick, you little hairy devil. Come on, let's go. She's a hairy devil to me now because she bucks me all the time. At least she's pretty. That's basically the only reason why I'm keeping her right now because she's gorgeous. <laughs> that's an awful reason. Now me and her get along, we're good friends, but we just have like situations, me and her fight a lot. We're like sisters even though like I'm the boss, but it's just weird. I don't even know how to explain our relationship. You wouldn't get it. Okay. See, she listens to me really well, like she respects me. But if she doesn't respect me today, I'm gonna beat her butt. Just saying. Okay, so I'm gonna walk her around. Whenever I lunge a horse, I always walk them first because it just gets their legs used to walking and gets their feet used to walking on the sand and just gets them conditioned to go fast and on a lead line and you know, just to get the movement. And I just realized I'm going the wrong way. I normally start out this way. Come here, Karma. To stop her, I just pull her in and I stop. She's not listening though, because she's being retarded today, but that's okay. I forgot. You always want to start out with the um, chain facing you. It has to be facing this way and that's the way you do it. And I accidentally did that. That was a mistake. But I'm gonna keep that mistake in the video because everybody makes mistakes. That's how you learn. Okay, now she's irritated because I moved her. She's like, God dang it. Keep going. And then I'm gonna start trotting her because she's been walking for long enough and she knows I'm getting ready to trot because I always pick up my lead line like this and I start to shake it a little bit. You know, I try to put it into place. I go like this to get it in place. And she knows that means that I'm about to tell her to trot. So she's picking up pace and I'm reading all her, her signals and it looks like she's ready to go faster. She's fine. She's already had a faster walk and that means that she can trot now. Now I'm gonna say trot. I'm going to kind of brush it behind her butt, but not hit her. And then I'm just going to keep her in a trot. And I'm going to give her a little bit more space because horses have backs that get sore when they're in tight, tight spaces in corners and when they keep having to go in circles. So you want to make sure that you give your horse enough room on the lead line. This is a good pace and this is a good circle for her and she's not sore. I also walk with the horse a little bit. I do a tiny circle because you don't want to follow your horse, but you want to make sure that you stay in the same area and same circle, but you want to make sure that you walk with them so that you're not tugging on the lead rope or lead line. And then I just stopped her on accident, but that's okay. That's how you learn. She's really sensitive, so every movement I make counts. And I'm just going to tell her that was good because she responded to me very um, suddenly. And that's a good thing. You want your horse to respond to you suddenly. You don't want them to take forever to respond, but you also don't want them to do it really fast. So that was just a quick response, but that's okay. I'm not going to discipline her for listening to me because that's what she thought I meant. I'm going to tell her walk off. And she listened to that very well, so I'm just going to turn her a little bit. Good girl. And I'm going to praise her because she did listen to me very quick and she didn't throw a fit or say, no, I don't want to. Now I'm going to tell her to trot because she's already conditioned and she's ready to trot. And I'm going to just kind of give her a little bit more room so that she doesn't think that I want her to go slow or turn into me. So she's doing good right now. And then she's actually ready to canter now because she's been trotting for long enough. So I'm just going to give her a lot more room. 
you're gonna have to like do this really fast and she knows that this needs canter so she's gonna be picking up the pace quite a bit ah, I'm dropping all the rope it's so hard with the camera and she's got a lot of space right now she's probably gonna even gallop now that was a misconception Come on. it's really hard with the camera do not do this at home and now I'm gonna tell her to canter canter she's excited see but I'm not on her okay, for a little bit because she's excited whenever she gets too excited or bucks or something I immediately correct her and get after her about it and it gets her stresses out so good thing Good girl. I want her to um, take her stresses out on the lead line and not me. When she slows down, I give her kissing noises and I say canter. Ah, ah. She wants to stop now and sometimes I let her do that, but at times I don't when she's not ready. She needs to have a lot more conditioning before I can ride her, so I'm not going to let her stop just at any time. It has to be a certain time when she's getting a little bit sweaty and damp. Ah, ah. She wants to stop though. And that was very disrespectful, so I'm going to make sure now that I canter her because you do not want your horse to buck near you or rear near you. Make her a little more space. Make her speed up because I don't want her to slow down. I don't want her to think that she can stop. Make sure she stays in the canter. Even a gallop would be fine as long as she's getting her energy up because this is the point of this. And it's to show who's boss. She wants to stop now and I'm gonna let her stop this time because she did a pretty good job. Good girl. And I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna pet her. Normally you want them to walk into you but I'm like out of breath. <laughs> so I hope that you guys like this and it helped you. Just let me know if you want more videos like this and request. Bye.